Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for uh, coming to the channel, checking out the video. So today I got a package in the mail. Um, got some mystery, some saltwater mystery boxes here. These are pretty cool. So if you're not familiar with uh, Bama Beach Bum, Angler Up with Brent, Bearded Brad, they're YouTubers, content creators, really good guys with some good content. Um, you can go check out their channels. But they opened up a um, fishing and tackle shop down in Florida. And I can't remember exactly where it's at, but you could just look up Beach Bum Outdoors and the website will have the address on there. But they are doing these mystery boxes, which I've got right here. This is the pier box. And I just did a video on the surf fishing box and another video on the inshore box. So go check those out if you wanna see what comes in those. It'll give you an idea of what you get. So when you go fishing, or you're thinking about maybe trying pier fishing, surf fishing, or inshore, you can grab one of those, like an all-in-one package, get your rod and reel, and go out there any day, anytime, and catch fish. Pretty cool. For 100 bucks, pretty fair deal. We're gonna see what we got in here, see if that adds up, that we got some value. But uh, this is the pier box. So pretty excited about this. I haven't opened these up, uh, so you're getting to open it up with me. But here's what we got on the inside. Start off, here's a towel. Got a bunch of goodies in there. Just the beach bump guys. So I can carry their faces with me wherever I go. Or just wipe my hands on their beard, whatever. Got some, uh, got a little koozie here. Same uh, picture on there, pretty cool. Everybody needs a cold drink on a hot day when you're fishing. Not a bad idea. Stickers, give it to the kiddos or Put it wherever you want. Uh, we're gonna start off. We got a uh, we got a gotcha plug, and remember, this is for pier fishing. So these are pretty popular on the pier for catching Spanish mackerel, blues, king, many of things. Um, but they work really well. Trout, that's another good one. It's always good to have a bunch of these in the box uh, for when you go fishing on the surf or at the pier. These are one ounce. This is silver with an orange head. Pretty cool little plug. You just work that thing in the water, you know, any way you want and uh, should catch a fish. And actually, they were kind enough to put two of them in here. So if a Spanish bites my leader off, then I got a backup to throw right on there. Because if you're going to catch Spanish, you will get cut off. Um, you can use still, you know, leader if you want, but I, I do prefer, you know, a mono or fluorocarbon leader. Uh, I just think it looks better in the water and the fish are more enticed to bite uh, without seeing that wire coming across. But that's a different story. Back to the tackle box. Uh, we've got, let's see, a Sabinki rig. Sabiki, Sabiki rig. So if you're at the pier and there's live bait around, people are catching king Spanish or whatever that day on live bait. Maybe there's some mahi um, schooling up. You never know what's gonna happen depending on the season. But this is a good way to have you an extra lightweight rod off to the side with a sabiki rack rack sabiki rig attached to it where you could drop it down there and uh catch any live bait that may be hanging around the pier that the fish are eating so these are already kind of baited up like trout flies and uh they work really well next thing we got here uh this is an es lure i actually got another one of these in my surf fishing tackle box. This is like a, what, a one and a half ounce, maybe two ounce. These are great for casting far. They're a casting mount. They got a lot of weight, so they can really get out there. This one's purple with some white and silver in The other one I had was like chartreuse green with orange and uh, Spanish blue, uh, you know, anything, trout. I mean, just throw this out there, work it really fast, and they will hammer it. So these are pretty cool. Excited for that one. I don't think I have that color. We've got a pompano rig. Pretty sweet. Some colorful uh, floats on there and painted hooks. Those are great. Uh, those are really good in the surf. So nice to have one of these. I actually got a couple in the surf fishing tackle box. So nice to have an extra. Now we've got a Yozuri Crystal 3D Minnow. That's pretty sick. So this has got a 3D prism finish. So when the light hits it, it shines and reflects everywhere and fish come running and they just lose their mind. Uh, but this is called mackerel, it's the color being blue, white, and crystal. And uh, you know, it's a it's a floating bait. So you just work it really hard like a like a jerk bait and uh, let it do its thing. 
anyways, it'll catch. And then we've got a Mac Daddy. This is a Rapala Saltwater X Wrap. Uh, this is a long casting bait. It's um, almost two ounces. Like that's how heavy this thing is. And about six inches in length. So if you can't tell on camera, it's a pretty big guy. But this thing will spin about four or five feet of water. Uh, so it gets down just below the surface and you can just launch this thing, work it hard. I mean, Spanish Kings, blues, uh, I mean, anything around the pier that day that is fast in the water will come and grab this thing. I'm always surprised by how fast fish are. I think they're not as fast as they are, <laughs> but when they are hungry, um, they are quick. I tell you, but anyways, that's pretty cool. I actually love that there's these single alt hooks on here versus treble hooks. I'm a fan of single alt hooks. I take a lot of my baits and switch out the treble hooks and put single alts on. It's safer for the fish, but I think you just get a cleaner hookup um, and you just don't get your fingers and line and everything caught on treble hooks. You don't have to worry about them getting tangled. Uh, they just seem to be a little more seamless when using. And I appreciate that. I don't feel like I get any less bites or less hookups with it. And I think the presentation is really clean on these. So that's pretty cool. Then we've got these Buccaneer Wigglers. So these are pretty cool, kind of like a, a Johnson Silver Minnow. If you've ever heard of that, you know, it'll go back and forth in the water like this. Or what you can do is put some bait on here, like a fiddler crab or a hard shell crab, piece of shrimp, maybe even like some fish bites or fish gum. And uh, just give it something, you know, on the end of that hook to entice the bite. But uh, sheep's head, pompano, I think these are really popular for it. These would be great around the pier when you're just trying to drop something around structure or pylons, whatever it may be. Uh, and this bright pink should be pretty attractive, should get a lot of bites. Next thing we got, this is pretty exciting. Um, I got these in my surf fishing box, but this is the No Live Bait. And these are two ounces, and these are a five inch bait. And these heads are made with an eight out, eight out hook, a two X eight out hook for five inch baits. Got a white head. These are, you know, a white silver body, kind of like a mullet now. Um, but these are great for catching big drum and snook and just any kind of big predator fish. Um, these things work really well. I have not used these yet, but I've just heard a lot of good things about them. And when you look at them, they're very real looking. Like, it's like truly a live looking bait <laughs> for something that's plastic. And even when you pinch it, it's almost like, it, it feels just like a live bait, which is incredible. Uh, suppose that they made these with a wider body compared to other stuff so that in strong winds and currents, these seem to um, swim better in the water presentation wise compared to something that has a thinner body. So they really uh, made a cool product here. And I'm excited to try these. I can't wait to try these. Hopefully I have a video or something, me catching a fish on these things. And for the size of these baits, it needs to be pretty big. But that's what we got in the box. Let's see uh, value wise what we got here. I know the no live bait are a little more expensive than uh, you know maybe something that's in this category, but you also get what you pay for. And I know a lot of people that have used these and done really well. Uh, so I'm gonna say these are like 15, 20 bucks. Um, so we'll go 15 just to, I don't know, be on the safe side, I guess. We'll go five bucks on uh, old wigglers here. <laughs> So that's $20. Then the gotcha plug, 10 bucks for 30. Another gotcha plug, 10 bucks for 40. The ES lure, 10 bucks for 50. The Azuri Prism, um, these are 10, 15 bucks. So we'll say 15, so that's what, 65. This Rapala X Wrap is definitely 15, 20 bucks. Uh, so we'll say 80 on that. A Sabiki rig. I don't know, what are these, five? So 85, a, um, a Pompano rig, five bucks, so 90. And then, you know, all these other little little goodies on top, pretty cool. And uh, I mean, my calculations are probably a little off there, but in general, you're getting $100 worth of good stuff. So I think these are pretty cool. 
I would definitely try one out. It's worth getting it. It's like opening up Christmas, you know, on uh, you know Christmas Day. Like it's like getting a, a nice present. You don't know what it is, but you can take this, go out there, and do everything with it. That's what's cool about it. So go check out their website. I'll try to put a link down at the bottom that'll hopefully get you there. And uh, let me know what you think. Comment down below if you get one, uh, if you try it out, and just see what the results are. And like this video, really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time, fish on.